Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. The whole reason why I'm doing this clip came to my head this morning. Um, so I was getting ready with my hair, getting my hair sorted for getting ready to go out this morning. And what came into my head straight away is that I wanted texture, I want a bit more height, and I wanted a bit more of a volumized style today. And very often I will always have my hair sort of off to the sides, very, very sleek back, with quite a lot of height from one side, and then swooped over with like this side little bit of fringe here. Very often I really enjoy wearing that style, and particularly if I get a little bit self-conscious, I don't want too much of my side showing or too much of my hair and age showing. You might find that's a little bit counterintuitive being I have an undercut, but it's nice having that length on top, having that versatility to be able to hide it whenever I want to. Whole idea about this clip is thin, fine, textured hair you might have if you're watching this. You might also think, how on earth can you cover it up in seconds? You might think, looking at me right now, that I've got an awful lot of hair. I actually haven't. I always make a joke to people. I always say, there's more air than hair here. Now, the one thing which I always use, and it always surprises me when I come to it, because I don't actually use it very often. I often do a style like this with a lot of height, a lot of texture, through hairspray, which takes quite a long time, or free spray, which takes quite quite a long time and a lot of sort of different stages. For example, pre-styling treatments, getting the right shampoo, conditioner, the list goes on and on and on. It's something I enjoy, but sometimes I haven't always got the time to do it. So this is a product which I use when actually when I use it, it always surprises me. I always think, why don't I do this more often? Why don't I use more of this product? It's very simply, you've got it, dry shampoo. Now, any dry shampoo would probably work. Um, one which also shouts volume would work better. For me, this is uh, a really nice uh, dry shampoo which I use, and it's by the Johnny's Chop Shop range from Boots. You can also buy it online, but this is a men's dry shampoo. It boasts, well, I have done a review on it before, um, but it boasts instantly cleans, adds texture, and builds volume. I don't necessarily use it for cleaning my hair. I always use it for texture and volume. You might well use this if you've had an injury or if you find it very difficult to wash your hair as a man. Um, at any age, of course, doesn't have to be sort of slightly older when you're younger you may have problems with your neck or if you've had an injury um, and you're recovering you might not be able to wash your hair so often this is a perfect product for that getting back to what we're doing today so the idea of this came to my head this morning when getting ready so freshly shampooed and conditioned hair if you've got finer textured hair you'll know exactly what i'm talking about once you've dried your hair through you will know that your hair falls flat instantly and it's really really difficult to get any shape or style into your hair i have that all the time if i'm going for a bit more of a volumized style i have to use pre-styling treatments i have to sort of really put a lot of effort into the hair to be able to stand up and I have to use a lot of product. That's fine, but sometimes when you're using a product like this, you actually half the time. That's why I'm always surprised that it kind of almost reminds me that you must remember that, Bradley, when you come back to doing a volume eye style, use the dry shampoo because it, it literally halves my time of getting my hair into the style I want to. Like, for example, today, it looks like, even touching my hair, it looks like I've got a lot of hair. In fact, it's a slight giveaway because this slight area here, as you can see, you can see the wall just showing through my hair at the back, which just gives it a little bit of a giveaway that my hair is not as thick as it actually looks. I have a lot of hair, but it's fine. And very often in certain areas, a little bit thinner as well. I've been going through a lot in 2020 and I've noticed it's a bit more hair fall. Um, am I concerned? Not necessarily, but this will be something I address into the future. Um, as I say, 2020 has been quite rough, so I wouldn't be a little bit surprised at all. Because in the past 2015, I've had... Um, I had, uh, had a phase where I had lost quite a lot of hair throughout the front. I'm hoping that doesn't happen, so I'm jumping straight in with shampoos and conditioners to hopefully address that. But of course, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. You have to deal with it then. Getting back into what we're talking about today, why and how? Okay, so dry shampoo, we all know what dry shampoo is, but it coats the hair straight off, it lifts the hair off, and it gets rid of any moisture, any residue in the hair. What I like about this particular dry shampoo is you can build on what you're using. So for example, from freshly shampooed, conditioned hair and dried off, my hair's very flat, very limp, and it's difficult to style straight off. What I then do is go crazy with a lot of this dry shampoo, all throughout, lift my hair up, a good sort of spray, blasting spray all the way throughout my hair. And very often I will rough that all through my hair, I'll do it a second time, rough that through my hair, do it a third time. By then, I've got this real nice structure, this stability in my hair, it might well be fine, but it looks super thick straight after. Another product which is very, very similar to that is like volumizing powder, which you would know um, and you'd be able to find that from the Schwarzkopf Got To Be range. It's about three pounds and it's in like a small container. Um, really really lovely product to use i was just thinking if i had any but i think i'm actually all out it's a product i use quite often as well um 
and it's really really nice in creating that why and how is this okay to do hmm what I would always say, if you're using dry shampoo, just make sure that you are washing and shampooing your hair out. Very often, if I've used this product, I will shampoo out twice. Just so once I've got all the product out, second time so I know that I'm giving my follicles and my scalp a good cleanse as well. The reason why I say that is because people can get into bad habits with dry shampoo and think that they're cleansing their hair with using it. I use it as a tool to be able to create thicker hair, not for a substitute of washing my hair. And just be really careful of that. I've seen a lot of things online about people using dry shampoo as opposed to regular shampooing your hair, which absolutely is a big no-no. That's the reason why it's a little bit of a downfall here. But if you're careful and you use it in the right way, it can be fantastic. Like, for example, today, you think I had a lot more hair than what actually I have. And I always say to people, there's more air here than there is hair um, which might sound quite strange but do you know what give it a go if you've got fine thin hair and you're thinking it's a little bit see-through grab yourself a can of volumizing dry shampoo if you if cost is an issue which of course it is for all of us it's sometimes literally grab one and experiment with it literally you in the middle of a mirror whether you're a man or a woman, literally grab it, spray it all through your scalp. Main thing is massage that product in. Really, really get going with it. Go crazy with it. Very often, once you have finished, you will know instantly your hair lifts away from your scalp and you are left with a pretty amazing amount of volume, no matter how much hair you have. You know you've gone too far by lifting the hair up. If you can see through it, you don't really want that. It's not a very good look. But if you're doing a style like what I've done today, I've then all I've gone in with is a little bit of product so a little bit of wax on my hands and um, in fact clay i believe it is which i'll be reviewing by the fish range um which is a new product out for men it's for volume i won't give too much away we will review that shortly a small amount of that through my hands literally through my hands up through one hand over and on the front here i've just pulled some off to the side as you can see then a quick spray of hairspray free spray rather all over and you're ready to go i have purposely this happened which i didn't necessarily plan for it to happen but i purposely left this so i could see so you can see my hair is not that thick because you can see through lifting it up i've got to be a little bit careful and look at that it looks absolutely really really thick and full if only that was naturally the case <laughs> but there we go my hair is fine in texture but with the help of this product you can have full thick hair in styling. I'm not going to take the mickey and think that I've got very little hair because I haven't. I've got quite a bit of it, but it's fine. So it's really difficult to style. So this is a perfect tool for being able to style your hair. If you've got very little hair and you're thinning, be careful of dry shampoo. It can still be amazing to use for creating lift and volume. But what's a good trick to do then is after you've shampooed and conditioned your hair, then use the dry shampoo for texture and lift rather than using it as a substitute for washing your hair. I'm an avid believer that daily shampoo is good for you because it creates that scalp environment, which is perfect for hair growth. I always think your face, you wouldn't not wash your face in a day. Your scalp is an extension of your face. Why would you not wash your face every day? But there we go. People have got different reasons. Dry shampoo, perfect for creating in seconds, thicker, fuller hair, easier to style. Give it a try. Thanks very much for watching. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye now.